So it's one of the most frustrating pieces of manifesting advice I've ever been given, but it is, if you want to manifest something, you also have to know how to detach from it. So this becomes a big catch-22 in manifesting, like how am I supposed to want something and yet not really care if I get it or not? And so in this video, I'm going to clear up any confusion you might have about that topic and get you back on the manifesting super highway. So if you wanna find out how to do that, then be sure to keep watching. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. I am a success mindset and manifestation coach and this is my YouTube channel where I upload two new videos for you guys every week all about the art of manifesting your dream life through the tool of mindset. So if you are interested in manifesting more money, love, wealth, success, whatever into your life, then think about hitting that subscribe button. I'd really love to have you guys along as part of my YouTube family. So as I said at the top of the video, it is so confusing when you're first in the world of manifestation. How are you supposed to have an intention, decide on what you want and go after it, and also be totally detached from the outcome. So for me, this was a big thing to wrap my brain around and I know it is a really difficult thing for most people um, because most of us, we have a really hard time detaching and actually we put so much importance and so much emphasis on what we want that we really kind of give it more importance than it really needs to have and that therefore also pushes the thing away. So please listen to this video carefully and please really try to understand if you are doing this and if you are doing this then start to switch your thinking start to switch your mindset over and start to look at the situation in a new way because i promise you that once you start to do that that will clear the space for it to actually come through so it is really beneficial for you to do this work but first let's talk about this so we all tend to want to manifest things into our life sometimes from a place of lack so what do I mean by that? I mean that you are, even though you're doing a spiritual practice and you're using a spiritual tool like manifesting, that sometimes the reasons why you are doing something aren't really all that great for you. So this would be like I'm trying to manifest the new Chanel bag because if I have a Chanel bag, then these people at work or these people I went to school with will be impressed and think I'm really cool. Um, etc 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 so you're still using something outside of you you're still going after the Chanel bag for a reason um, that comes from what's your what you're feeling inside of you so you're feeling like these people are judging you or not accepting you or rejected you in the past and you want to feel better about yourself so instead of healing that wound instead of making yourself feel better from the inside you are still looking for that external thing to do the work for you and then that creates a problem because now you are putting such a big expectation on getting this bag and what will happen after you get this bag um, but that's really not what you want what you really want is just to feel good about yourself what you really want is just to love yourself and accept yourself the way you are so that's one thing to think about right you need to understand where your motivation is coming from and if your motivation is coming from a place like this where you're trying to uh, get one up on somebody when you're trying to prove something to somebody when you're trying to make somebody jealous when you're trying to teach someone a lesson all of that kind of thinking like that means that there's way more attached to your goal than you're admitting to yourself you are making this one thing the, the ring on your finger, the car, the corner office, whatever it is you're going after, you're making that be your redemption. And the only person that can really redeem, redeem you is you. You can give yourself permission to do that. You can heal yourself. You can, you know, heal those wounds from the inside out. And then that stuff from your past or from your present even won't bother you so much. So that just shows you how um, how it can be difficult to detach from something because you created this great storyline around it and you're attaching more meaning to it than you're even admitting to yourself. So of course it's going to be hard to detach from it when you have this giant expectation wrapped around your manifestation wish. Of course it's going to be difficult to do that because 
basically you're doing this for the wrong reasons. Again, you are trying to heal yourself from the outside in. You are trying to make other people think differently of you, which is a game none of us can ever win. Like there's all kinds of things going wrong with this scenario that will not ultimately make you happy. And you have to remember that at the end of the day, you're doing this to make yourself happy. Make yourself happy. Don't worry about what other people think and don't try to do something to impress someone else. Like that, you have to really remember that as you go through this process. So that's my gi giant caveat when it comes to manifesting because I think a lot of people get stuck on that just because they're not being honest with themselves. They're not admitting where their motivations are. They're not admitting why they really want something. So of course then it's difficult to detach from the outcome because you are making that one outcome your whole medicine, the whole way that you can see forward to get better. And I'm telling you this right now because I want you to understand there is another way to get better. There's another way to heal. There's another way to move past all that judgment and resentment and bitterness and whatever else you're feeling, but only you can discover that. You cannot wait for these people to give it to you. You need to give it to yourself. So that's the first thing to think about. The second thing I want you guys to know about the art of detaching in order to manifest your desires is that you have access to every single feeling that you want in the world right now, okay? So when I talk about manifesting, I talk about embodying who you wanna be, about moving yourself up on the timeline, about you know creating you know such a magnetism between who you are and what you want that the thing cannot help but show up for you, right? It isn't about sitting around waiting for something to fall out of the sky while you do nothing. It is about becoming the person that you want to be. So when you're in this state and you're manifesting something for the right reasons and you are working on collapsing timelines and you're working on getting energetically aligned with something, um, you can think about what you want, think about your manifestation intention, and then think about how that's going to make you feel. And the cool thing is now that you know this, now that you can understand your brain, understand your mindset, now you also know that you can just go over here and get the feeling without having anything to do with this, right? So if you can opt over here, walk over here, pull out your feelings cabinet, pull out the feeling that you want, walk around wearing that feeling, then guess what? You are detaching from the thing because the thing is no longer necessary for you to feel the way you want to feel. You have already chosen the way you want to feel. You are already wearing your feelings. You're already in the feeling cabinet with however you want to feel, whether that's joy or satisfaction or whatever it is, you can get there right now. You can do something today. You can do something in the next hour that will make you feel like that. So understanding how that works creates detachment because again, you're understanding that you do not have to wait for the thing to come to you in order to feel the way you want to. And when you don't have to wait for something to come to you, then it doesn't really matter if it actually comes. It can show up or it cannot show up, but it doesn't matter because you have the feeling already. You're already feeling exactly how you want to feel. And that is the most important thing of all. So that is my real trick, my real Jedi mind trick for getting on the other side of detachment. If you are feeling confused about detachment, if you don't understand how to detach from your desire, then please think about the two things I shared with you today. Really try to understand where your desire is coming from, understand why you want the thing you do, and be really honest with yourself. Because again, if you're creating this whole redemption story for yourself, because of this one thing coming into your life, you are setting yourself up for disappointment and you are also pushing your manifestation away. So you really wanna be clear on that stuff first. The second thing is you want to understand that you always have control over your feelings. You can always feel any way you want to in the world. There is always something you can do today to feel exactly as good as you would feel with your manifestation intention. So the more you practice feeling that way, the more you exert control over your feelings, the less attached you're gonna to feel to this external thing, the less that thing is even going to matter to you because you already know how to get what you really want which is the feeling. And funnily enough, that's usually when the manifestation comes in is when you really understand this. Like I would actually go as far as saying as it won't come to you until you get this. It won't come to you until you can detach. It won't come to you until you are already feeling exactly the way you want to. 
which is just another way of embodying the person you want to be with the thing in your life. So please think about that. Please apply all of these principles to your life and please come back here and let me know how it goes because I know this stuff is tricky. I know it's tripped me up several times and I really hope this video can clear up any confusion that might be lingering around the idea of detaching from what you want in order to manifest your dreams. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your support here. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you have a friend that could use this message, pass it along to them. That would really do me a lot of good. If you want to know more about me, come on over to this site. I have a free uh, magical AF audio training for you guys to download over there. It's brand new, it's fresh, and it's just uh, like a 20 minute private basically podcast that you can listen to that'll really help you to get clear in your power and to hype you up about what's possible in your life. So if that sounds good to you, come on over, sign up for updates, and I'll send it out to you right away. Thank you guys again for being here, and I'll be back in the next one. So until then, I'm wishing you an amazing, magical week, and as always, just remember, get ready for the miracle. See you guys.